I thought that I would finally do the old school Luca tag because other people have restarted, it's resurfaced, and uh, I was reminded that I never did it, so I thought I would do that today. First question is your coward. Coward may be a strong word because um, I'm not wearing legwear because I'm sitting on my bed. And first of all, this blouse just arrived in the post and it's got this lovely cherry lace uh, you can see what there's like overlay of cherries i wanted to wear my meta cherry hybrid oh this is emily temple cute by the way and this is meta you can see yeah, just a little. and it's got the matching skirt this bracelet is a custom one that my friend kim made shop bell dreams headdress from my secret santa that they made oh and this little clip which i think you got off aliexpress or something and this like 90s bead necklace and this is just a, a ribbon that i tied i usually use it in my hair i actually stole this off a listen flavor drawstring bag now the question is what's your oldest piece so because of some of these i don't know the exact year so i, I got them all out let's start with the one i do know the exact year of is this also goes with this outfit in fact i have worn it with this exact set before this is a jane marple cut sew from 1995 i think it originally came as part of a set with a skirt which i really really want so um if anyone sees the matching skirt for sale let me know it's got this really cool cherries and scallops and it's very comfy actually it's very stretchy i love it it's brilliant other things I've got to show you are this skirt by Baby, which is so cute, but I believe is from the 90s, but I don't know exactly when from, and you can see it's got gorgeous lace, gorgeous fabric, and it's gingham, which is my favourite thing in the whole world, so I love it. I had to just drag this out of my uh, laundry because I wore this at the weekend, but this is a Jane Marple um, OP. It's also got cherries and gingham uh, from the 90s and it's very comfortable because it has a drawstring waist so it's really adjustable so that's very helpful it's very cute i love it a lot finally uh, i thought i would include this even though you know you could argue that it's not lolita but i got this brown gingham milk set for this little skirt and this little puff sleeve crop top uh, and according to the seller, it's from 1988. It's hard to tell specifically the exact year because it's not got item number. It's like pre-item number for milk, but it, it does seem very old from this, the style of it. How many things did I show you that are just gingham? Goodness me. <laughs> Next is the flip side, which is a piece from 2010 onwards that you use often in old school. Probably the most obvious thing for me i would say would be my shoes i haven't dug them out because i don't want to be handling dirty shoes in my room on camera but i will put pictures of them here maybe so i would say they are my uh white yosuke ones which i got secondhand but you can actually still buy them new and so i did that i bought them in black as well and my clarks i wear a lot and my demonia so yeah shoes uh, mostly and probably it's probably the case for everybody I should think it's like older shoes are hard to find and also they don't do my size anyway other thing I thought to show is um tote bags so I use my Rochelle tote bag a lot plus it's fun to show you guys this because I drew this art this art's by me and I think it's cute and it goes with lots of things which was the intention of my girlfriend who organized the event doing it in like black and white and she did like the font and stuff I just drew the the picture and on the theme of tote bags i have this one that i use a bunch of i didn't even go to this event because i woke up that morning and i was so dizzy i couldn't get out of bed i got two of them so i dyed this one green like tie dye i just thought that was fun i actually use it quite a lot probably because it matches my hair so it's like so therefore because my hair doesn't match anything it matches everything what's the next question items you have missing from an old school woolly wardrobe my main thing is black bloomers like long black bloomers i've got some short ones 
but I have been needing to buy a pair of long black bloomers for years and years and I just never buy any but they are more difficult to come by sometimes so the next question is your dream dresses I wasn't sure if this meant like dream dresses that you want to buy or dream dresses that you like managed to acquire I did a little blog post at one point of dream dresses that I have managed to acquire so I could link that I guess dream dress top 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 dream dress is the metamorphose alice op set um with the one uh, from the year 2000 the one with the crunchy cross lace not the cotton lace um and did i say uh, in black and white yeah well that one it's what a mouthful why couldn't i just why couldn't I say that properly? I don't really mind actually if it doesn't have the apron because I have it already in sacks but the black and white one is like all the way up there top 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 one and the other one I would say is the Baby Star Shine Bright Fairy Print OP from 2003 in red I'm gonna say tentatively because it was ivory for a long while because I have the skirt and the bag in red in fact can you see the bag it's like just <laughs> just up there and I love the print so much that I wanted to have something in every color but I had the JSK in red and in black and I really hated the cut on me so I sold both of those and now I'm thinking I don't really need it in every colour <laughs> uh, and the red is my favourite for the print even though it's a nightmare to wash because the print bleeds everywhere I say from experience unfortunately but yeah those I would say are my top top two wish list dresses dream dresses Ooh, a dream item you want that's not a main piece. So I'm gonna say the Meta Winged Cross Shoe Charms because they feature in my favorite street snap. Also this really ugly Mottier tote bag that looks like it's made of tent material. <laughs> that's on my wish list too. <laughs> Again, because of a street snap. So yeah, though I would say those two, those are two that come to mind. Ooh, an aspect you feel is missing from Lolita now as compared to old school, I assume. Um, I think when it comes to the old school way of coordinating things, it's much less polished, a little bit crunchy, a little bit messy. I feel like fashion in general was more like that then, like not even just when it comes to Lolita fashion. Like if you look at older like goth looks and stuff like not as in gothic Lolita but like just goth like the makeup it's like a mess sometimes but like in a good way it's kind of like feels like the comparison of analog to digital when it comes to film photography I mean that sounds really nerdy but I, I love photography and I love analog it's just got like something but I, I think hopefully you know what I mean I like that like a little messy like the little messiness is kind of missing now probably because in a lot of ways I feel like sometimes coordinating seems like a competitive sport online sometimes like everyone's like peak what can I do to be better and I don't know if that's the way it was then because uh, I wasn't wearing Lolita then in in like the 90s and super early noughties so I can't say how that compares yeah I just feel like it would be nicer if people were more confident to have a bit more fun with it and not worry so much about like do my do my blacks match or uh, are people gonna roast me because um, I'm wearing trainers you know what I mean the next question is your fave cohort from kamikaze girls this might be blasphemous but overall I kind of prefer it should go style <laughs> when she first rocks up and she's wearing those red sunglasses and that the lip color peak love that in fact Ichiko is my favorite over Momoko I, I like her better than Momoko and she's wearing like this really weird kind of hideous shirt when her and Momoko are on that little outing to try and find Emma that's a good look but um my favorite Momoko cohort I love the meta room wear that she's wearing it's like gingham and it has ducks on it and there's a gingham one with fruit and there's one that's just covered in tiny little bows so there's like these three long like maxi length JSKs 
and they were on my wish list for ages until I discovered they don't exist outside the movie. They were made for the movie. I was devastated. So um, I will never own those. I guess I'll just have to make some. When it came to talking about bargains, I decided to leave out all the cutsos because I can't honestly remember how much they cost and they were all like a hundred yen or something, you know, because back when they used to be cheap. So I decided to show this because I guess this still counts as the biggest bargain anyway. This gingham matter dress. Can you see it's gingham? Of course it's gingham, like 50%. I think I've shown you a gingham. This, I think it's from 2006. One really cool thing about it is um, the lacing is through buttonholes. And I just think that's such a cute detail. It was seven pounds it amounted to. I can't remember in yen what it was because I did get it off Yahoo auctions. So basically it was one of those like few hundred yen starting price situations and I bid and nobody else did. So yeah. Seven quid dress. Not bad, is it? I think that takes us to the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. I will link the other tag videos in the description. And bye for now. Okay, I'm back. I forgot a question. I forgot to show you my favourite cord from a street snack. So here it is. You know, I could probably just insert this, but it's this one. It's really good. <laughs> anyway, bye properly now.